there were some things that have to be said, and I will say it as an Irish person and as an Irish patriot who is preserving the rights of the people of Ireland and what the people of Ireland take. And I will try to say it the best and the most nicest way as possible, which I will try and do right now. So as the thumbnail of this picture shows, the Prince Charles of England is supposed to be coming to Cork and Kerry next month. Which I say we have enough of British monarchs and British royal families because we live with them for 800 years and I think we as Irish people do not want to have listened to them for another three days because he's not welcome in Ireland. His wife, his children, his grandchildren are not welcome on this island and will never be welcome on this island. The government of Ireland might welcome them but the Irish people the Irish men and the Irish women who pay their taxes to this state who pay the taxes of the people who walk in the state in the social in the government do not want their money spent on somebody that occupied this country for 800 years Because we are trying to help the homeless, help ourselves for what's in our whole life, in this country's lifespan. We are trying to help ourselves in our health services, in our guards and in the state. And we're not trying to pay for Prince Charles and whoever the hell he's going to bring with him. We're not paying for his visit to Cork and Kerry. And I would like to add to every person from Cork and Kerry or wherever in, wherever in Ireland you are to get out on the streets on the 24th of June and protest and protest and protest very peacefully because words of freedom will tear down the war of royalty because our words are a lot stronger than weapons they might have the biggest army nearly in the planet, but we have the biggest voices in the planet. People who are not afraid to stand up for this country and speak on the world stage. Prince Charles's family during the generations of Irish occupation has done too much to this country over 800 years and we do not want them here for three minutes, let alone three days because they occupied this country for 800 years they had all the time in the world his family and him and him whoever the hell he thinks he is he had all, the, his family had all the time in the world to come to Erin I'm sure they did not back then because people would have, they would have been shot dead but I would like to tell the people of Cork and Kerry to protest peacefully and not to lose violence. I would like to tell the government of Erin to get your act together and to stop making the Irish people pay for monarchs for people to come over to this country And they let them pay themselves. Prince Charles has more money than this country has. And they probably expect the Irish people to pay for his hotel. Pay for his food. Pay for his flight, goddammit. Pay for his security. Well, the only thing I say to them. If he wants to come to Ireland. Then he can book a flight. He can book a hotel himself. 
he can do whatever the hell he wants, but he's not spending it on the Irish people's money. And he's not welcome in Ireland. He can go to France, he can go to America, he can go to Scotland, he can go wherever the hell he likes. But he's not welcome in Ireland. And we'd like to say if anybody takes this as racism or anything, this is the freedom of speech which this country has in its constitution. Maybe not in England you might have your freedom of speech, but in our constitution it says why don't the freedom of men and all that, the rights of men and women of the Irish Republic and the right to free speech in the Irish Republic. So I'm using my voice to say this now and I will not welcome Prince Charles or any of the royal family for that matter into Ireland and I will tell them to go home and stay at home and to leave us alone. Thank you very much.